Some of it's all over the place. <laughs> My friend Brandon has just bought his first safety razor. Everybody say, welcome Brandon, and let him know what your favorite shaving soap or your first shaving soap was. We can give him some options to try. Unless you hated it, then say, don't buy X. The purpose of this video is to show my friend Brandon how to shave with a safety razor. He's been using cartridge razors. I pointed them in the direction to the, the Shave Mercantile. They have a starter pack that includes the Limeade, which is a vegan soap, it smells good, lathers well, and it's slick. Slick. Also comes with, I just shaved with this, with the Rockwell uh, synthetic brush, which I think is a good option for starting out with. And it also comes with, not this Parker 96R, but a, uh, a razor just like this, Butterfly TTO, twist to open, if you don't like acronyms, uh, twist to open. So I find that that's a good, a good place for beginners to start with the twist to open because there's not all the several pieces and the potential for cutting your hand open. Let's, let's get into how to shave. I have my mug here, okay? The, the starter kit doesn't come with like a, a bowl for, for lathering, so I'm going to show them how to face lather. Um, but the, the mug comes in handy because you put, you put water in it. You put really hot water in there, and you put your brush inside the water. You put a little water in your soap. You put a little razor blade in your razor, which again, twist open razor goes in there like that tang 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 okie dokie okie dokie okie dokie then important step take a shower you smell bad so once you take a shower you know make sure you get your face uh, good and wet uh, sometimes I use a face wash sometimes I don't I've been using beard wash which has been kind of nice. Once you take a shower, you're gonna take your brush out of your mug. Okay, you can put this down, hair up, right on the table. And then what you're gonna do, because you're gonna have this open, it should have, they, we call it blooming. When, when you put the water on there, it helps the soap bloom so you can smell, smell, smell it. Uh, so that's what happens with that. And you can dump that water out if there's any residual water left on top. Uh, sometimes the soap just kind of sucks it in. From there, this is the part where you're gonna end up with more soap than you need sometimes, or too little soap. Um, I usually do a little handshake with the, uh, with the brush to get some of the water out, and then I'll just kind of pinch the tips to get the, the remainder of the additional water that I don't need out. Uh, from there is when you start swirling your brush to the soap. And now, I mentioned this before, we're going to do a face lather because there's no uh, shave bowl that, that, that Brandon has. And I don't think it's 100% necessary. It's just a nice little difference to try at some point in the near future. But to get you off the ground and shaving using this method is a good way. We call it loading the brush. It's getting enough, enough soap on there. And then you can push the brush against your face, keeping those circular motions, getting all the areas that you want to shave. And um, hopefully looking for something that's a little thick, like me, and kind of like a little shiny. But you don't want like bubbles. You don't want like big bubbles. That means you have too much water. If it's dry and cakey, that means there's not enough water. So keep that in mind. I recommend trying to do it before you even sh are like, okay, I'm gonna lather, then I'm gonna shave. Try lathering without any anticipation of actually shaving. Just get used to it, okay? There's, 
think this is a six ounce container, maybe five. Uh, there's enough in there for you to take a little couple test drives, okay? Okay. Now we're ready. Once your face is lathered, you're ready for starting to shave. But you can see sometimes if I'm like starting on my left hand, my left side, I'll actually pull up on my skin a little bit uh, to keep it taut. I'm a bit flabbier than you are, Brandon. Uh, so this may not be 100% applicable. Pulling up on the skin keeps it taut so that there's less like undulating uh, waves of fatty skin to mess with. Anyways, we're looking for a 30 degree angle here. It could be 24, it could be 42. Just find what works for your face. General rule of thumb is 30 degrees. You do you, buddy, you do you. Now, once you're doing that, you do tiny strokes. Just, you know, two inch, two and a half inches. Sometimes I just let it ride and go all the way down, but I'm adjusting the angle of my razor as I'm going. So keep that in mind. I'd say for starting out, short strokes on flat planes. That's your first pass. I would say for the first couple months, just do a one pass shave, just to get used to it because your second pass is usually against the grain and you're holding it upside down, okay? When you're shaving, you want it to go with your growth of your hair. On my face, this hair grows pretty much straight down. Same with on this side. My chin goes this way when it's grown out. So from there, I kind of go like with this kind of attack. And then my neck down here, it grows sideways. Um, but the rest of it kind of grows straight down. Some of it's all over the place. Just keep that in mind. You know, your face is gonna be different than everybody else's, unless you had an identical twin, which I know you don't because I've known you. I probably would have met your identical twin by now. Anyways, after that first pass, you're gonna rinse off any remainder soap. Uh, usually use warm water, then I come back with a splash of cold water, dry it off with a towel, and then finish up with like a shaving, yeah, a soothing post-shave balm. Uh, if you have fancy aftershaves, or really not fancy aftershaves like Aqua Velva or Clubman, it's a fun one too. Uh, have fun. Have fun. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'm here for you, buddy. And it's not just directly at Brandon. I'm here for you, buddy. Anybody that's watching this that wants to learn how to do this, we're all here. We're all, we're all in this, this craziness together. I appreciate you watching. Uh, if you want to learn more about wet shaving, uh, subscribe. Or, you know, you could watch somebody else's videos too. That's okay. We, uh, make them as a community to empower everybody. So, keep it real. I'll talk to you online. See you later, alligator. And in a while, Brandon. Ciao, goodbye. Goodbye. goodbye.